What's going on there folks? Good evening once again. I'm back here with a quick update video on uh, another interesting earthquake out here. Of course we had a 5.7 down here around the Wellington, New Zealand area. Now we got a 4.7 earthquake coming into the big island of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check out uh, what's going on out here. A lot of stuff uh, it appears. 4.7 down into the Pahala area. This is uh, one of the larger quakes we've had in a little while down here. About 32.2 kilometers below the surface for this earthquake. Um, not around any volcano, uh, but it is in that swarming area that we see quite a bit. Um, a lot of earthquake activity taking place there historically. Uh, here's the last 30 days of all magnitudes. I'll just give you a general idea of the continuous swarming. This has been a an area of interest to seismologists, geologists, uh, since about the late 60s. I, did, I believe they uh, discovered this swarm. Uh, it's been ongoing like this for quite a while. Uh, either way, now we got a 4.7. That is going to be the largest in this uh, cluster. I think this is the largest earthquake since, uh, oh, I don't know, a little while. So. Not sure what's going on down there, but definitely picking up right now with that uh, activity. It appears as though i uh, got some activity really trying to kick up down here across New Zealand as well. There's a whole lot going along, uh, going on with the Pacific Plate currently. And I think that uh, calls for some watching out here along the West Coast as well. There's not a whole lot going on currently, uh, but with all this shifting around and some movement down south here on the southern end, uh, around the um, uh, New Zealand area is definitely worth watching here. Uh, we did see a uh, 4.8 up into, hold on a second here, let me bring the news up first here. 4.3 is going to be the most recent, 481 kilometers deep. Notice how this trend of activities, uh, activity here is shooting down further south here in the deeper levels. Uh, so I think we do need to keep our eyes open down here around New Zealand. Uh, for some potential further movement. Uh, a quick look at the earthquake, which originally came in as a 5.9, was reported um, across the area. A lot of shaking being reported across Wellington, North Island, and also down here in the South Island area. Uh, again, this earthquake striking out around the Cook Strait of New Zealand. 5.7, one of the uh, you know larger earthquakes as well to take place down in this area. Uh, so we'll definitely keep an eye on things. Uh, let me check out real quick with the volcano hazard, see if we got any notification in regards to uh, this 4.7 that came in. A lot of times they will put out a, uh, a notification. Doesn't look like it. Uh, and this earthquake being reported 4.7 from USGS. Uh, I want to see if this has been reviewed yet or not. It's automatic status. Uh, and I do not have a Hawaii station up here on the seismographs, unfortunately. Um, but I, I definitely should. So an automatic status here it shows that it uh, was being reported across the big island. All across the big island, it looks like here. Just some light shaking. Alrighty, so um, goodness. <laughs> I guess we'll just be on guard here. Uh, with all this activity taking place around the area, best we can do, right, is be prepared, stay on guard, and uh, have a good night, everyone. I think this will be the last update, unless we get something major going on out here. Um, the West Coast has been pretty quiet here, California region, but uh, maybe not for long. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Have a good one.